Hello, Year 8. OK, so this is your second week uh, of online learning. And I would like you to trace a line uh, from the previous lesson, write the date in French in the top right hand corner, and your title for this week, which is Ma Journée, meaning my day. OK, for the starter activity, I would like you to count to 60 in your head. So pause this video, count to 60. If you were wondering, you know, you know, if you had a few gaps, please click on this video that's appearing there on your screen and you can have a quick recap with that. Okay. So this week we are understanding vocabulary about daily routines and time. Okay. And we're also going to learn how to conjugate reflexive verbs. Okay. So for the time, when you say it is one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, do the o'clock. You would say, il est une heure. It is two o'clock, il est deux heures. It is three o'clock, il est trois heures, etc., etc., etc. To the o'clock, il est, then the number, and then heure, which is hours. So when you add here for 12, il est midi, is it's noon. Il est minuit, it's midnight. When you go to a quarter, same as in English, we add écart. Et demi means half. So from all of this end, from 12 to 6, all of this side, you, you would just say, il est une heure, then une heure et quart is quarter past one. Une heure et demi is half past one. Okay. Then here, when we're on this side from 6 to the 12, we're going to say minus and then the number. Okay. So instead of and, like we had, écart et demi, here to say quarter to, it's literally minus a quarter. So moins le quart, if you want to say, it is quarter to one, il est une heure, moins le quart. Quarter to two, il est deux heures, moins le quart. So two hours minus the quarter. And then again, when we go to this side, the right hand side, the, the, the first half, from 12 to 6. If you want to say it's one hour and five minutes, you will say il est une heure cinq, une heure dix, ten past one, une heure vingt, twenty past one, une heure vingt-cinq, twenty-five past. And then we go to the kind of left hand side and we use minus, moins. So minus five, moins cinq, moins dix, minus ten. Moins 20 minus 20. Moins 25 minus 25. Okay. Please go to BBC Bite Size. I've included a link here uh, about telling the time. There are a few videos. There's information there as well and activities to complete. Uh, towards the bottom, you have also the useful vocabulary that you can click on. And please have a read at this. And at the very bottom, there is the quiz to take. So please pause this video, go to this link and complete all the activities on that page. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Uh, if now you would like to do um, this exercise, so I would like you to write down the first column and try and match up the correct time. I'm going to ask you to pause the video again. So you need to write down the eight times and match up with the correct one. You need to write down which one it is. Okay, so pause the video. Okay, so on to correction, please uh, take a red pen to correct your, your work. So, Witter, the first one, Witter, is G, Witter. 4.15 is 4 heures et quart. 2.40, is 3 heures moins 20, so 3 hours minus 20. 16, 10, so don't forget we have the 24 hour clock in France, in France, in French, uh, is 16 heures 10, so 16 hours 10. Noon is midi, 9 30, 9 heures et demi, 10 or 5, 10 heures 5. 
and quarter to six is this return moins le quart. So 18 hours minus the quarter. Okay, give yourself a score out of it. Okay, now I would like you to write this in English first. So it is seven, it is 1500, etc., etc., And write down the time in French. So pause the video and write down the time in French. So it is seven, il est sept heures, il est quinze heures, il est vingt-deux heures dix, il est vingt-deux heures trente, il est dix heures vingt-cinq, il est midi moins cinq, il est sept heures et quart, Il est 8h25, il est minuit. Give yourself a score again. Ok. So, je me réveille tôt. Try and find out the time before I say it. You can pause. À, what time is it? Say it out loud or write it down. À, 7h25. Second one. Puis je me lève à, and say the time, 7 heures et demie. Try and think what it means as well. Okay. Après, je me douche à, in the time, 8 heures moins le quart. Ensuite, je m'habille à, 8 heures moins 5. Je me peigne juste après. Après cela, je prends mon petit déjeuner à 8 heures. Attention, je me brosse les dents à 8h10. Pour finir, je quitte la maison à 8h15. So you notice how to say « at » certain time, we use the little preposition à ah, with an accent. Okay. So please write the new vocabulary in your book. Je me réveille, je me douche, je prends mon petit déjeuner. Please practice as well the pronunciation as we go along. Je me brosse les dents. Je m'habille. Je quitte la maison. Je vais au collège. Je rentre chez moi, je fais mes devoirs, je me couche. So, je me réveille means I wake up. Je me douche, I take a shower. I have my breakfast, I brush my teeth, I get dressed, I leave the house, I go to school, I go home, I do my homework and I go to bed. So pause the video and write down this new vocabulary, please. Okay, so why is there a me before the verb je me réveille? What do you think that is? Okay, so this is an example of a reflexive verb, which we're about to see. Je me réveille is I wake up or I wake myself up. Okay, and the reason there is a, a m apostrophe before je m'habille is because we have an H, which is the same rule as for vowel. So, M before an H or vowel will be M apostrophe instead. Okay, so on to the reflexive verbs. Please copy this. Um, so, the reflexive verbs are used when the personal thing doing the action is doing it to themselves. And these verbs have an extra pronoun to show this. So, je me lève, I wash myself. So, they follow the same normal conjugation as they would. So, se laver is an ER verb. So, that part will still follow the same rule as a present tense of a regular ER verb. But what the little thing that changes from another verb, from a usual verb, compared to a reflexive verb, is we have the reflexive pronoun to add before that verb. Okay? So, je me lave, tu te laves, you wash yourself, il ou elle se lave, he or she washes uh, himself or herself. Nous nous lavons, we wash ourselves. Vous vous lavez, you wash yourselves, plural. Il ou elle se lave, they wash themselves. 
please pause this video and copy this. Okay. Okay, so now we'd like you to write down at least three sentences about what you do in the morning. Qu'est-ce que tu fais le matin? What do you do in the morning? And describe your routine in the morning. So I got you started le matin in the morning. And then I would like you to add at least three sentences about what you do. I wake up at uh, 7.30. Um, then I, uh, I, I have my breakfast, etc. Then I leave the house. You can add some opinions, okay? Uh, or talk somebody else's routine as well to use some another subject pronoun as je. Okay, so don't forget to add the time and obviously the new reflexive verb that we've seen about your routine. Okay, pause this video and write down your sentences. Okay, so you would have now written your sentences. The next activity I'd like you to do is a listening activity. So there is a file, an audio file that's uh, also posted separately uh, from this video. There are six people that are going to talk about their uh, daily routine. Okay, you, you need to write down for each person okay, the time that they're talking about and what activity they are talking about as well. Okay, you can write this in English. So you need to write the time and the activity that they're talking about. And to help you out, I've given you the options for the times there. Okay, there are some activities that you might not see yet, and therefore it will be a challenge for you to try and figure out what they mean. Okay, so please pause this video and um, go get the um, audio file that's been uh, attached to the assignment and complete this in your book. Thank you. Okay, so um, when you have finished, obviously, these are the answers for the listening uh, activity. So 7.30 gets up, 7.40 has breakfast, 8 o'clock goes to school, 4.30 comes back home, uh, 6 p.m. does her homework, and 9 p.m. goes to bed. Okay, so give yourself a score out of six. Right. And then to finish, I would like you to post a picture of your work as usual via the assignment. Okay, thank you very much.